My name is Dr. Asif Hassan. I am the environmental engineer, uh, Double Tree Paper Mills. My company, Double Tree Paper Mills, make tissue, towel, napkin, facial, these consumer grade paper products. Tissue industry in 1970s used to use 80,000 gallons of water per metric ton. Over the years, it has come down. Right now, um, industry standard is about 20,000 gallons of water per metric ton. Typically, uh, most of the tissue mills are in the east coast or west coast of the United States where you have a lot of fresh river water. We don't have it here, so we have our on-site wells. The well water has high chloride, which is basically corrosive for stainless steel that we have in the paper mill, and it has amorphous silica, so they're basically abrasive to the surface. In this area of Arizona, you have high phosphate concentration. We also have high arsenic, manganese, and iron. So you have to have water treatment. The conventional RO system uses uh, more specific energy per gallons of water produced. It also had lower recovery. Quite frankly, I think it was high maintenance. We have responsibility to the environment. We, you know, we try to use less of nature's fresh water. We also had to uh, pick a high recovery RO system that is flexible, that is low maintenance, and from those considerations we opted for desalinated. We used to have to feed a lot of biocide to the RO system prior to installing the desalitech and because their, their well has a significant amount of uh, geothermal activity and so they've got high levels of bacteria. So we were having to treat several times a week, but now that the desalitech system's in, we haven't had to add any biocide. So the main reason for that that we understand is that the conductivity is changing during the cycle and as a result, it's not allowing the bacteria to get comfortable and to grow. And so it's been a huge benefit to the customer. Anytime you don't have to do cleaning, basically it saves you on the labor because cleaning is always a supervised, involved thing, you know. We were doing three biocides each week and we were doing cleaning, high pH cleaning and low pH cleaning um, every other week. With the new desalitic unit, we did not have to do cleaning. These days, everybody is striving for a higher recovery. What the higher recovery does is basically saves us on the cost of the water because pumping water out of the well costs us energy. If we can keep more of it, that saves us right there. On top of that, these desalitic units, they use less energy per gallons of water made uh, compared to a conventional RO. So it saves us money on two fronts. The previous RO system had a recovery of 73%. With the desalitic, we can go up to 90%, but for our operation, we decided to run between 85 and 88%. It's reduced the amount of anti-scalant significantly as well. We're not having to feed as much. We used to have to feed close to 8 ppm. Now we're running about 3 ppm, so it's cut it a little less than half. In working with Desalitech, I've had a great experience. Every customer that I've referred to purchase the Desalitech system has been very happy with the end result. They've been able to see increased recovery. They've been able to see uh, systems that don't have the issues that they've been having with traditional RO, and they've been able to reduce their chemical usage as well. And so overall, my clients have been very happy in their decision to go with the Salatech. We believe we are doing uh, whatever we can by using a high recovery RO system, where we basically do not use as much and still produce our product. I would recommend Desalitic RO system to anyone who is trying to achieve a high recovery and maintain good quality in their finished product water.